Hi, it's Nanny. I'm still chasing the coyotes off our roof, but I think we might have a solution. Mike and Colleen, everybody, they're all in on it. But besides chasing coyotes, I have been working on sewing my family Christmas stocking. So what, I'm, what you're going to see in this video is a lot of my uh, sewing. I'm showing you not how to sew, but how I put together some of these stockings. A little bit of uh, shopping in Walmart. I've shown you some great, everything is Christmas right now. As you know, I've spent years, ever since Colleen, our youngest, who is now mid forties, was about seven. And I've made these large velvet stockings for all the kids, all the grandkids, all the spouses. I think we're up to probably somewhere around 50. And this year we have a couple of new babies on the way. We have a, a new husband. We have a, a couple of new people that I have to make stockings for. So I'm gonna show you some of the stockings that Colleen's family has done and why I call them memory stockings. I hope you'll enjoy this video. So <laughs> I'm not dressed up today. It's been a work day. I've been working all day long, cutting and getting ready to sew. And I will keep showing you how I put these stockings together. Now remember, it's not a sewing lesson. You have to, <laughs> if you wanna make them, it's basically just making a stocking, making a stuffing, put the, putting them together and putting a few fun things on the front. It's a beautiful day. No more rain. Bougainvillea is still beautiful. So you can see that clearing up there on the hill. I would say it's probably maybe, I don't know, 30 yards down to our roof. See him? Just wandering around looking for whatever. I just saw, there he is, there's the dark one. So we have two, he stopped, he probably hears me. Shamu is still looking up on the hill, walking around, sniffing everything out. I found her up in a tree. Lucy and I are looking forward to our night out and we're going out for sushi with Colleen and Micah. It's their birthday present to me. We're having all kinds of yummy, yummy sushi. I'm sure we'll have fun, especially because some of the kids will be happy. Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy oh. birthday to you. Happy oh. birthday to you. Wow. Happy birthday, to you. Wow. Happy birthday dear Nanny. Nanny. Ooh, look at that heart. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish, Mom. Make a wish. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's wasabi. What's this? Oh, that's wasabi. And yes, I'm in my car on the go again. It's Sunday morning. And I have just left home because I have some things I have to get. Now, I want to tell you what I did find. I did find Perfect Velvet online. Thank you. All of you who reminded me I could get anything on Amazon. Parked in front of Joann's, a new Superstore Joann's, which I was in last week and didn't find anything. But I'm going to Walmart because I'm going to try and take advantage of these Black Friday deals, I have decided, as you know, I'm about ready to start my sewing Christmas stockings project. And I have four or five to do. And what I have to do first is to cut them out. Now I have one that I have from the previous years always left over to measure for the new ones that I have to do every year. So 
<clears throat> I thought Moosey reminded me that my back is that much older than the last time I was cutting fabric. I used to do it, of course, at my home. I had plenty of tables, big tables, dining rooms, and one in a sewing room that I had. Uh, then when we moved to the cottage, I used to spread everything out on the bed, but that's not ideal because you're still leaning over. Then I remembered it's Black Friday and maybe I can get one of those four foot long collapsible ones that have the handle and you can carry it around and I can use it for a lot of things. So I'm about to go, go in, I'm about to go in and hopefully I'm gonna find a table and I'll let you know, maybe I'll even find some, some things that might be of interest to you. Well, it looks like pretty Christmas sweaters are back again. Look at the array of Walmart Christmas sweaters. Oh my goodness. This must be a year that everyone is honoring them. Maybe they're not ugly. Look at these. They're so cute. They're wonderful. Now those are the outrageous ones and then there are the pretty ones. I picked a pretty one out. Look at this one. I just love this with the trees, sparkly trees, different trees. This one has sparkles on it. Can you see it? I kind of like this one. More like that too. I'll swing around here. Here they are. Aren't they cute? I mean, this whole section is Christmas. Love cute little pants that go with this play suit. I have mine from last year and I'm sure I'll wear it. The kids love it for the parties. $24.99. These are so cute. I love the little teddies. $10 for these. They come in prints, plaids, and they're so cute. Cozy too. Here it is in red and pink. This is so cute. Look at this fur up close. I mean, look how gorgeous it is. It looks like real fur. Oh, all these cute stuff. I almost bought those. Aren't they darling? Look, look at all these $14. Most of these slippers are for men and women. Aren't they cute? So cute. I bought these about a month ago, $20, and I love them. They're cozy shoes to wear around the house. They have great soles, and I love this sort of a Irish sweater type, cozy, cozy shoes, 20 bucks. This is what we might call a, a fireside chat. This is my new heater. Doesn't it look real? And you know what? It's warm, and this is our bedroom fireplace in our tiny little, almost 100-year-old cottage. Now, I know Thanksgiving is just a day away. Moosey and I are going to Matthew's for Thanksgiving, and um, I think Dub is going to be popping in. Her children are going to various other in-laws and families. And Colleen and Micah are going to have us up in the morning for a, a brunch, late morning brunch. So we'll be seeing some of the family, maybe some of the others will be popping in. I am going to make the stuffing for Matthew. He does the turkey and various other things. We're gonna make some dates stuffed with nuts and rolled in sugar, which is one of our traditions. And uh, I have a couple of pies that I'm bringing down, but I won't be making any of this until late Wednesday or early Thursday morning. So I won't be able to show you. I do a great stuffing. I put water chestnuts in it. Of course, I put the um, uh, celery and the onions and um, what else do I put in? I even put some uh, sausages, the Farmer Brown sausages in, but apples and water chestnuts are my secret ingredient. Maybe I'll show you after Thanksgiving my stuffing since I won't be able to make it beforehand. But do try it with some crunchy apples and some crunchy water chestnuts. I think you might like it. I also do my own fresh cranberry sauce. Being a diabetic, I don't want all the sugar from the canned sauce. So I do make, make it 
uh, with the fresh cranberries because I absolutely love it. It's Monday morning and I have gotten my new table and I'm going to get ready to start cutting out some Christmas stockings. But before I do that, I want to get my nails done. I took all my old peeling polish off and uh, I was gardening this morning, so my fingernails got dirty. So letting my nails grow, my nails were very dry and peely, and I've been doing this for a month or two now, putting one or two coats on under polish, and it's been just strengthening my nails. What I'm going to do now, after I put the nail tech on, is put this nice LA Girl gel it's a gel-like polish, not real gel, I guess they say. And the I've just put a coat of this on, of the nail tech, and I'm going to let it dry and do my other hand now. Nice color, isn't it? Cabernet LA Girls Gel. Poor little wrinkled 86-year-old hands, but I have had all these wrinkles since I've been a little girl. I have my daddy's hands. <laughs> Love the color, though, don't you? Well, Colleen and Micah set up my folding table for me that I bought at Walmart yesterday. And um, she brought down her family stockings that I made, starting with Colleen's when she was about seven. And, um, and then when she married Micah, this is Micah's stocking in the dark green, and then she started having her babies. Ryan's is over here, and Brendan's came next. He's another dark green, and Shannon's is the last one. And her stockings are probably the most loaded and best preserved in the whole family. As I said, I've made probably almost 50 of these so far. And uh, I do have four or five to go, probably this week for new babies and new people. And so I'm gonna show you some of these. I've set up these just to show you what we do. I call these memory stockings. And the reason that we call them memory stockings is because after I make them and I put a few things on there for them, I do some appliques and things, then they have the opportunity to put all their awards throughout their life. Each year, something else goes on. And as you can see, these are beautifully displayed. Now look at this one. This one is Colleen's. Now, as you notice, the ones that I made 40 years ago are a little bit uh, not quite as big as the new ones. And on here, she, originally I put, this is part of my wedding dress that I sewed on. And I've put pockets on the toes. Um, some of the things I put on, uh, this is my wedding dress over here to know. Down here, oh, this is from my mother's wedding crown, a little round pearls. These were on her wedding headdress when she got married in 1936. And so I was putting memorable things on, but then I also put some of the trims. I lined them with quilt or fleece or fur, and then I used laces or fur. And as the years went on, I sort of drifted into other things. Big, heavy velvet hanging things for them so nothing breaks. My mother crocheted this wreath. So those are the things I put, and then, Colleen started to put all the things that she has on here. Now, there are places that she visited in Europe. She went to school at Brighton in England for a year. And, oh, she has so many things on here. So this is about what, what these things look like. And that's why we call them memory stockings. They don't put them away in boxes in the garage or a shed. <laughs> one year, I actually had to redo one of Bridget's because a uh, a mouse got into the stocking, her stocking one year. So I had to remake one of hers, take the things off and put them back on. So that's what these are and that's what I'm about to do. And I will show you a little bit about how I put them together. So let me just lift one up. Okay, this is Micah's. 
That, this is the green velvet, by the way, that I look for, the nice dark green velvet. The teal was not uh, right. You can see all his things. His mother gave him this when he was a baby. This was on one of his little um, onesies and various other things from his childhood and then certain things from his basketball years and awards that he's had over the years. So these are fun and I'll show you some of the new ones too. And these probably will have some white fur now that I've gotten to that point. So that's what I'm about to do. Look at Ryan's. She has done a great job of hers. This is um, my wedding dress. And down here is her mother's wedding dress. There's a little pocket down here to put little secret things in that I put on. And then I put these diagonal pieces of um, sort of um, Christmas types of lace and, and decor. A little pocket here. And she has put all these things on herself too. She's really done a good job of decorating. So this is what I am about to do. And it'll take years to fill them up like this, but they've done a great job. So the table is a godsend. <laughs> it's an adjustable one and look how high it is. I won't have to break my back cutting out the new stockings on the bed because I'm gonna come out here and it's a nice day and I will cut all the stockings out and get busy. The next step after cutting them, I cut the lining, of course, and I sew them together separately and then put them together. But before I do anything, I decorate the top singular piece with pockets or um, the diagonal pieces, some lace maybe on the girls, and uh, the, the, everything is sewn on to the front piece first before I do anything. So I just wanted to show you all these. If I tip the table this way, I know, a disaster will happen, but I'm so proud of these and they have done fantastic jobs. So here's a little quick run through of the stockings. Okay, this one is Shannon's with all the laces from her mother's wedding dress, my wedding dress, all the things that she's put on there over the years. She was an Irish dancer. She was a, a great runner in uh, junior high and used to come in first, beat all the guys in a track. <laughs> and uh, this is Micah's. As you can see all the fun things on his stocking. He's a TV news anchor man now. This is Brendan's. Fun stuff. Yeah, I made these with these rings that could hang things on. And look at this, when he took uh, karate. Look at his little karate suit. He must have gotten that one year. All his, he was a great basketball player in high school. He's in college now. And this is Colleen's. She was a cheerleader in high school. Now this I believe might be from my mother's wedding dress. I can't remember, but I, I do have so many pieces of lace. This was my wedding dress. And, um, oh, look at all three. My mother crocheted this little wreath up here and then she oh this is from my mother's wedding crown i told you that Look at all these lovely things and oh this is valley cumber ireland when her whole family went there two years for christmas for two weeks at a time what else did i want to show you yosemite um oh this was from romania she was on that tv show um what was it called? They they toured Dracula's uh, castle to see how long they could stay in there. She and so someday I'll tell you that story. Remind me, our kids were picked for that TV show and they flew them to Romania. And it was Bridget, my granddaughter Bridget, my grandson Billy, my son Bill, Colleen, and Margie. They were picked as a family to go and spend 24 hours in a castle at night. Oh my gosh, we still have the film. It was wonderful and it, it's a great story. It's gonna be one of Nanny's good storytelling stories. I have so many, I keep forgetting them. 
And of course, this is Ryan's. So that's what they turned my stockings into. And as you can see, Colleen's is a little smaller um, because hers was made. Colleen is mid forties now. I forget how old they are. She's our youngest. And I made this when she was a little girl. So they get bigger as time goes on. So now they're pretty big, good for stuffing. So I will show you and film little bits and pieces of how I put these together. So this is the beginning of the process. You lay the fabric out folded so that you have it doubled. It doesn't matter one way or the other. And then you lay at the stocking, um, whatever you've, I, I've kept this now. And as you can see, it's quite a bit, the perspective is off here, but it's quite a bit wider at the top. It's probably a foot at the top. And I've allowed for seam allowances all around the edges so the stocking won't be this big. And then I still have enough left for one more green stocking, as you can see, that I will decorate the top piece first. And this is just the beginning of the process, which I'll continue and show you as we go on. Now, I think I have, I always have a pin cushion handy. I think I have tons of uh, things to decorate them with. I'll, I will put pockets from different uh, kinds of velvet and fleece. These are really old. This is uh, from Matthew's jacket when he was in a little private preschool in Scotland when he was four. It was called Drew Staten in Bearsden, Scotland. And this came from his little jacket, his school jacket. Oh, I still have to cut all these linings too. So I'm a busy girl this week. Many of you have asked me, what do you keep in those tubs in the shed? Well, this is part of it. If you are a sewer, then you will understand that fabrics all my life have been something I've been attracted to. Now, these are some of the fleeces that I line the stockings with. Now, I have to make a complete full stocking for the interior. Then I sew that together and then put it inside the complete sewn stocking in the velvet. Now here's my velvets cut. I have two greens cut and one red so far. Some of the fleece is cute. Um, uh, Colin and Brianna's little girls have three doggies, dashins and various things. So I like to line their, their stockings with the fleece. Some of these are pretty. Um, some of the kids love the, you know, the, see that, the, tr the red truck Christmas trees, beautiful, um, cardinals for those that like the birds. Every kind of a fabric you can imagine is here. Now, here are the furs. Some beautiful, um, oh, Dutch and European trims. I like to put some of these on. The different kinds of furs. This goes up on the top. All kinds of trims and rickrack and tassels and lace. I have a lot of antique lace that I put on. I love these. And, um, we made a sheep one year, Shannon and I, and we stuffed it, followed a pattern, and this is what we used for that. Uh, for the little girls that love the, our girls all had horses and showed horses and ponies and during their growing up years. And I think I put some of the cowgirl stuff on there. This is fur, always some fur on the top, all different kinds of fur. So ladies, that's part of my maximalist life and I have tons of all this. Now I do have grandchildren, especially my Katie, who probably will wind up with a lot of this fabric. <laughs> She's from, Can she lives in Canada with her hubby and uh, I taught Katie to sew when she was a little girl and she's a master sewer, knitter, everything now. So Katie, you can see what's here. <laughs> By the way, my new table, which I love, do you see how high it is when I stood behind it before? These legs are adjustable and it goes from a, a very short table, which would be cute for little grandkids to sit and have their uh, dinners around when you have big family gatherings, or it goes up to the height that I have it at now, which for those of you who are crafters and sewers, even, um, I suppose this is higher than dining table height, but it's wonderful for my back and for cutting, and you don't have to lean over a smaller table, but these legs are adjustable, and um, 
I did get it at Walmart, but uh, I think it goes up to 33 or 36 inches high. Now we go through the same cutting process with the linings. Same size, you might have to make the inside a little bit smaller when you get to cutting the edges later, but you don't worry about that now. So I'm gonna lay this out. I have cut a couple different ones now. I've done some doggy, and I think I have enough. I cut uh, something else. So I have four linings and four stockings to go. I might have to do a fifth, but at least I have four ready to go. And then I start decorating the top of the velvet stocking, the front. That's I think it's going to be a cozy night tonight with this on. For some reason or other, it got very, very cold, and I had to come in from my outdoor cutting and sewing. But in the meantime, I do want to wish everyone a very, very happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you're with family, if you're not friends. But if you're, if you're not, it really doesn't matter. Uh, as, as some people have said, what you're eating that day, it matters what's in your heart, what you're thankful for, who you're thankful for, and perhaps who you have around you at that time. So happy Thanksgiving to all of you. I might try and get one more video out before if I can. But in the meantime, know that I'm so appreciative of all of you that watch our videos, that enjoy them and make the nicest comments. Thank you so much. We're almost at 50,000. Wouldn't it be great if we hit that soon? So goodbye for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Have a lovely, thankful, grateful Thanksgiving. And God bless us all, everyone.